What we're saying is that uh, the, the person the MEC is addressing is a patient and she said they've just come off an operation, they're frail, they're sick. And even if she's told all those things and recorded and filmed to, for the embarrassment, and well, how does that uh, solve the issue of, of budget and the budgetary constraint the, the, the Limpopo uh, health services faces? It does not address, it is just dehumanizing to that person. That's all that it has achieved. Because speaking to that patient does not solve the, the, the systematic crisis uh, the MEC would find the institution of health there is under. She is addressing the, the wrong person and in a very demeaning fashion and even to film this. Now you can imagine uh, how many other people are facing such treatment all over with endorsement from officials that uh, People who have taken a Hippocratic oath uh, to dedicate their, li- their, their life to the service of humanity and to practice their profession with conscience and dignity. And, and, and even in the summer Hippocratic oath, it says uh, to, to, to practice this, the health and well-being of patients, the community and the broader African communities to be key considerations and the respect to the dignity of a patient. So all these uh, odds uh, were just flatly uh, broken there. So now this patient is now known, this so-and-so patient is now admitted. It's, it's, it's an attack on their privacy as well. Now we understand, might be this patient is illegal. That is another systematic problem where even the government of South Africa itself knows that the Zimbabweans have tried to do whatever they can to put, to change the political situation in Zimbabwe. We had Thabo Mbeki negotiating a government of national unity. We had uh, uh, former President Motlante also attending to a commission where people were short trying to to speak to the issues that are politically affecting Zimbabwe. So the, the, this is very, very dehumanizing as far as we are concerned. However, we must condemn our own government, the Zimbabwean government, for letting slide such a, into a, such a dismal situation where our people have lost dignity. Now, we will see as we go on that the, the institutions of South Africa have really become very hostile to our people, whether you, have, uh, uh, you are documented or undocumented, the mere mention that we are Zimbabwean is now just uh, nearly suicidal. I mean, you are going to bank on people who are dehumanizing you like this to treat you to get better if you are sick. Oh, it's, 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 it's horrifying. It's shocking.